I'm all right. I don't know what you're doing. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just taking in the vibes. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carnival 2015 is no winding down. You know, I'm easy last giant standing in terms of downtown pets. And I don't want to estimate or guesstimate how much people are out there, but there's so much more coming in through the door. So it's going to be a fantastic night. You know, I'm hearing that, you know, you have some things coming up post-carnival. You want to kind of fill us in on that? All right. Well, before I talk about post-carnival, um, during this carnival here, um, I had a number of releases, um, for instance, I had one big power soccer track called People that has been enjoying a lot of airplay, not just in Trinidad, but across the Caribbean and also North America. Um, I do music production now, so I'm not just an artist. I actually do my own production. I have my own room. I don't like to call it a studio, but I like to call it a vibing room, you know, where I put stuff together, record my own self, arrange my own tracks, everything. And I'm a part of a major budding dynamic duo group called Ultimate Rejects. We do Caribbean EDM. We call it CDM. So that's coming very soon after the season. You know, we have a podcast on iTunes right now. You know, the very first one, um, Ultimate Rejects, so people can go, you know, on iTunes and check it out. So that is what I, my, my main vein is right now, mixing the Caribbean music along with the EDM. The reason kind of Fusing soca with EDM. How do you feel about that? Do you think that, as as it's the trendy thing now, you know, everybody's doing it? How do you feel about that? You've been doing well, it for a while. Well, first thing first, um, music is a thing that is all inclusive. You know, you may come up with something, or you think you come up with something, and then other people get involved in it, and that is when it really spreads. You know, one person may originate something, and then somebody will take it and carry it to the next level. So. It's all well and good that people are getting involved, you know, and I'm glad that you mentioned that, you know, myself, along with people like, you know, Marshall Montano, Kess Deventhala, Bunchy Garland, the list goes on and on. And one of the men who really started doing production in EDM is Mad Men Production, who is in the background there. You know, you and Seaton and uh, Ricky Bobby and the crew. And we started out eight years ago, or even further back, where we wanted to just do different styles of music, you know for the soca market and then we said you know what we're just gonna do music and all of a sudden we got inspired by watching people like Calvin Harris and David Getter and, they, and we understood what that movement was about and we said you know what our music is so much you know similar to them they're taking our beats and they're mashing up crowds all over the world so why can't we take something from them because music being a universal language a universal tool why can't we do it you know, people will criticize and say they're taking foreign things. Right now, all the clothes I'm wearing is not from the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. So, better take all my clothes off. No, that's not a good idea at all. So, it is, music as a thing must be welcomed. Any genre mixed with our culture, done properly, right? Most important, you know? And you must love what you do and put your, your all into it. The CDM movement is what, what was started by us but it's all well and good when we see people like Bunchy Garland getting a Soul Train Award for a particular type of track that is like that. And it is them, people like the Kess and other artists coming up to take the music further. Sounds good, sounds good. So what can, can we expect from you for the rest of this year and beyond? Well, the goal is a couple weeks after the carnival has completed to start putting out tracks. So I may put out some urban track. I just try to feed my market because everybody will fight up for the, for, the, for the two months of carnival. I have the entire year. I have a chance to impact people on a day-to-day -day basis rather than a season-to-season -season basis. You have the advantage. Yes. Yeah. You know, and I have that, that, that gateway, that opportunity, that, that avenue to reach people, not just on a musical level, but to talk about issues that are facing the everyday individual. Let's say well, we as a people are so diverse, so should the music, yes. even within soca. Great point, yeah. great point. You know, we live in a, in a multicultural society, so we can't just, you know, only address one sector of the, of the musical sphere. We have to give everybody the opportunity to engage, you know, to latch on to something. And that is what I do. I'm a service provider. This is the one on the MX Prime and right about now. It's all back to the vibes. Vibes in. Bang!